Hi, this is Jack from Alpha Charts with a stocks to watch video. Today is January January second, twenty twenty two. Happy New Year, everybody! All right. Um, before we get started, this video is for educational purposes only. These are not recommendations to buy, sell, or hold any stock or security. And I may hold positions in some of the equities mentioned. Know your time frame and risk tolerance. Also, if you like these videos, please like and subscribe. Um, it really does help me out. I do appreciate it. Uh, thank you very much. Um, all right, so let's get started real quick. Um, the queues are near all time highs. I mean, it's hard to be too bearish with that. Kind of a nice little undercut right over here and then straight up. You know, last week was very, very low volume because of the holiday week, of course. So I think, um, you know, the first week of January, um, it's going to tell us a lot of information, right? What's going on with this market? Um, so, but right now we have a bullish tilt. So, um, got lots of names, 29 total for you today. Um, and I've broken them down to semiconductors. Um, let's actually let's start with semis. Uh, first bunch of semis. And the first one is Pi, P-I. Um, nice little cup and handle breakout. And now starting to trend higher. It seems like the 23 day now has kind of held as potential support. So um, that's a place to manage risk against. Um, yeah. All right, let's keep going. Um, ALGM. Again, no, nice little cup and handle ish look to it, breaking out and grinding higher. MU. We're gonna go quickly on these, by the way, because I have a bunch of stuff to get through today. Um, you know, we'd love to see this low volume pullback, maybe continue for another day or two, and let these moving averages catch up, and then it could move higher. Marvel, MRVL, big gap up, um, and then it's kind of holding up here nicely. Volume is obviously lower holiday week, so we'll see this week if it can come up. Um, right now, so far, the 23 day is starting to catch up and also VWAP from the gap. So watch for those areas. Uh, slab SLAB. Again, nice big gap up. It's kind of grinded sideways. Moving averages are now catching up and it is trying to break out something like that. Maybe it's making some kind of cut, you know, handle to this cup and handle. Who knows? Um, but it looks pretty good. Um, and if you get over, you know, 210 ish, that would look pretty nice. Uh, AEHR. This one's a little bit extended. Um, you know, got to come up into this, you know, $26 or so area. Maybe then it pulls back a little bit, right? And then breaks out. So again, not place I would um, enter here, but I do like this name a lot. It has a lot of. Um, yeah, I, I like the setup a lot. So but again, we'd have to get up here, then pull back, then break out. Um, next up is NVTS. Obviously, it's back. Um, you know, it's been a little bit choppy, but nice accumulation going on in this name overall. And now, if you look at the view app from, we'll call this the IPO. Um, Plus, all of the moving averages are all over here in this 16 to 16 and a quarter range. Um, so, a really easy place to manage risk against, right? I mean, we fall below this, you're out. So, uh, it looks really, really good here. That's NVTS, RMBS, Rambus. You know, it's just grinding higher, broke out of this area right here, good volume. And now it's just moving higher. It looks good right there. Cirrus. Um, again, another one had a nice gigantic move, came back, retested it, and moved higher. So now uh, this VWAP from the 13th, right over here, I think that's a place to manage risk against. Or oh, it may need a little bit more time to, to flag out here and let these moving averages catch up. But uh, again, nice looking chart from this, you know, from this nice space right over here. Um, and the last one is on ON. On semiconductors, you know, you got a big gap up here, you got a big gap up here, and it just keeps moving higher, consolidating higher, consolidating higher. So here's this consolidation. And to me, it's trying to move higher, you know, $66. It's got to stay above 66. Um, it may retest that area, 
but again, here comes the 23 day moving higher also. All right, so those are my 10 semiconductors names. There's others out there, but those are the ones that really caught my eye. Um, the next nine will be what I consider consumer, um, almost like staples. I mean, the first one's actually not even that, it's transportation, GXO, logistics. Um, but again, they kind of go hand in hand, sort of, um, even though it's more of a transportation name. Uh, anyway, this is nice moving higher, just under the 50 day. So it does have to get above that 50 day. Um, and it just start to really be interesting to me. But I do like how the moving averages are kind of bunched up. Again, needs one more big push higher, good accumulation. Um, one more push higher for me to be really interested in this name. A Dollar Tree, we've talked this one a lot about this one a lot. And from the um, big gap up here from November 15th, again, you see gap up, gap up, right? Multiple gap ups, um, a big, strong name. Uh, this one is above all its moving averages and the VWAP from the gap, most recent gap, uh, looking really good. You know, if it can move higher above 140, 150-ish, that's probably a, a good place to manage risk against. Um, next up is Cody, C-O-T-Y. Sorry about that. Here we go. You know, had the big gap up, came back, and now is above that VWAP again, and all of its moving averages. They're all kind of lining up, um, and it gave, this kind of gave it time to, um, to let the moving averages catch up. You know, and you can almost see a double bottom ish right here, right? And there's your undercut right there. Is it the undercut? It actually didn't under undercut it, but so a very double bottom look to it right there. Um, you know, trying to break out now above ten dollars and sixty cents, maybe fifty-five cents or so. Um, that's a place to manage risk against. And again, I like that these moving averages have now caught up to it. That's COTY. Cube or Cube Smart. Again, um, it's one I'm in, as you can see. Um, I'm raising my stop as I go. Um, and now we're starting to see this fanning out of the moving averages, which I like. It's not too far extended at this point. Um, and and um, yeah, it just keeps kind of grinding higher. Again, not going to be your fastest mover, but it's moving higher. Uh, next up, Kroger. Again, another one that um, I was in here and actually bought some back as it broke this handle right here. Um, and I've, I've redrawn this handle a couple of times because that's just the way price action was. Um, but again, it's a beautiful cup and handle. It's now moving back up into to test this $47 area. And then a potential breakout here would begin the next leg of the move. So, uh, so far looking good. Again, above the VWAP from December 2nd. And uh, a lot of nice things happening in this chart. That's Kroger, KR, uh, Sprouts Farmers Market. Again, these are not the most exciting names, but they're moving right and the charts are setting up. You know, here's Sprouts Farmers Market going back to, I think, all time, uh, not all time highs, but um, uh, five year highs, right? And now it's breaking out of this gigantic base. So uh, Sprouts Farmers Market looking really good too. Again, it kind of broke out. Now it's coming, coming back in. So let the movie averages catch up. This 23 day again held here, held here. Um, and now it's, it's just moving higher. So, so it looks pretty good so far. Um, may need you know, to come back in a little bit more, but um, this one looks pretty good. SFM, uh, BJ's, you know, kind of flagging, flaggy look over here. Big gap up, came back. Didn't quite fill that gap, but now is back above all its moving averages and making the right side of the base. Looks pretty good. It's big, big brother Costco also has just been a beast for basically ever. Um, but it's come back in near its moving averages and this 23 day and his most recent uptrend has been a pretty good guide. So that's a place to manage risk against. And I'm put Tesla in here too, actually, even though some people wouldn't really it's consumer discretionary at this point um and it came back retested moved higher and this little flag right here is real interesting right if you can break the downtrend line 
I think it's a really bullish sign for the market. You know, um, if it breaks this 1034 ish area, that would be a place I'd probably, you know, would get out of this particular name. I own this one right now. Um, you know, kind of, I'm a little, actually, you know, I bought it on the retest down here and I added some up here. So right around here is where my, um, where my cost basis is, I believe. Um, but yeah, but this one, it's, it's still looking pretty good. You know, if it does break this 23 day though, I'd be out of this name for, I think a tiny, tiny, tiny gain. Um, that's Tesla, TSLA. Materials uh, are the next group. Again, a smaller number here, only five of these guys. MP, um, you know, it kind of came up, made this, I don't know what you, pattern you would call this, um, but it's kind of chopping around, a little bit loose, decent accumulation, but it's starting to make the right side of a base, whatever you want to call this. It's kind of a VCP look, to be honest with you. Um, but it's making the right side of a base. If it gets above $50, right, I think this is a place to get long. Um, you know, you may want to play the move, the 10% move between here and, the, and that $50 potential resistance area, but it looks pretty good overall. MP, ERF, again, nice, big, strong move. Then this sideways consolidation that did have some kind of little undercut and then rally over here which is pretty good um you know moves quite a bit actually and now it's just kind of consolidating moving averages have caught up we'll zoom in just to that, that area and you can see how nice this looks right here right very very strong place to manage risk against your 50 days right below it you're trying to get this fan out again if it could break out 10 85 ish um that would be a strong place to imagine risk against sum again another undercut and rally double bottom look very similar chart in a lot of ways um you know, again this little volume doesn't bother me because it was the week of between christmas and new year's um again kind of lower float name in general but uh but looks like a nice setup sum NTR, which we've talked about in the past, um, you know, had this nice run here, and now it's kind of coming back. Um, then moving averages catch up. It may need to come back a little bit more, right? This, there's still a pretty good gap right here, um, so so it may need to come back a little bit more. Maybe it retests the seventy-two, seventy-three dollar area, um, but definitely one to watch. Uh, and last one I'm gonna put in this group is LNT. Alliance Energy, here's the weekly chart. We'll just make it easier to see everything. And as you can see, it's kind of been basing since uh, 2020. And so it's got, you know, two full years of, of basing and now it's trying to break out. So that all looks really, really good. It's LNT. Again, I'd probably play this breakout. Um, you know, just gotta see some follow through on the, uh, on the, um, beginning of the year, right? Um, maybe it needs to base just a little bit more, but it looks pretty good, LNT. All right, and there's a couple of uh, REITs, builders, kind of miscellaneous, I'm gonna put in here too. There's five names that I'm watching right here. Um, here's Kimco. Again, this has been an important area for a long, long, long time. And now it's trying to break out of it. So um, and here's 2007. This is a weekly chart, by the way. <laughs> so here's 2017. You know, it kind of broke down here. It This was important back here in 2013. So again, it's been an important area. I think that if it can break out here, let's drill down to the daily. You know, um, you know any place around here is potential um, area for for a buy, you know, again, it's had a nice run, maybe it needs to come back just a little bit and then break out. It's a REIT, know what you're buying. Um, DRBG is one that Richard, Richard, uh, uh, that's how I wanted. DRBG, that's how I wanted. DBRG, I'm sorry, DBRG. There we go. Digital Bridge Group, uh, Richard Moglin brought this one on my radar. Beautiful cup and handle look to it. You know, easily we can, Put this like this, something like that, right? Yeah. Just a handle like that. Um, nice look to this one. Good accumulation. Love this name, DBRG. 
Um, looks really, really good. Uh, Trex. They do uh, building supplies for home builders. Again, big up. Now move sideways. This kind of November 9th gap is now priced still above the VWAP from there. Again, it has to break out, but that looks pretty good. A couple of home builders look great. Um, here's Toll Brothers. Again, retested the breakout. Now moved higher. It looks pretty good. And then MTH is the last one I'll put. Um, again, making higher lows and trying to break out. Looks really nice here. Not great accumulation as the 17th, so we don't really look at that one. Um, but anyway, but but uh, definitely a place to def um, define your risk against right over here. All right, so there we go. There's 29 names, a ton of semiconductors, lots of consumer staple-ish type names, um, some materials and uh, REITs and home builders, right? That's what's leading the market right now. Might as well be in the leading groups. Anything can change. It's the first of the year. We'll see what this uh, year brings us. Hopefully, uh, it's a good one. A um, lot of lot of things going to happen this year. I think um, as they do every year, right? But um, but I think that uh, you know, Q's near all time highs. It's hard to be bearish. This now, if we get a rollover here, that changes everything. If bonds go bananas, that changes everything, right? So uh, we'll see what happens. Anyway, y'all have a great day. Good luck and take care.